All righty. Fantastic. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. I know we're a little earlier than last week, so I do appreciate it. Probably dragging a few people out of their office work a little early, but hopefully this is a little bit more fun than whatever you had left on the, on the laptop before you got out. Um, we are, we, there's probably two parts. There's two parts of this clinic today. So we are doing offense, and it's team offense. So we're not looking at an individual skill here. Uh, we're not looking at uh, building up skill bases here with this one. It is about from a team focus. So to do that, there will be a little bit of coaching on some skill. But for me, my real focus is I'm imagining I'm at the back end of my training session now. I've done my, my individual, my one-on-one -on -one sort of skill work, done a little bit of my defense, and now I'm into my gameplay sort of part of my training session. All right, so I want to try to bring that, bring that together. Because I know we've got coaches from varying age groups and abilities here, the first part of this session is really going to be around advantage offense. All right, so how can I create two on ones, three on twos, and how do I coach my players through those situations as best as I can? All right, I think that works, and I do a lot of these sort of drills with under nines right the way through. All right, and I do it right the way through, up until even with my men's teams. Uh, and, and state teams, we still do this sort of stuff, obviously with a very different degree as we go through it. And then the last part, I'll start to introduce what we call concepts all right, on offense. I don't have the magic play, if you're looking for it, I don't have it. Um, I, I've learned over my time, that there's lots of different styles and ways to do things. Um, coaches will talk about continuity offenses, where it's a continuous action that rolls itself around and around. Uh, I do think they're great at a junior level, I do find though that after a while, kids just seem to run the pattern rather than running the game of basketball. I'm sort of a big proponent of getting my most talented player, putting them in the most talented position so they can show off the talent they've got. All right, that's what it is, putting talent in talented places. So if I've got little kids that are great at dribbling the ball, I want to space the floor out and give them room to dribble. I've got a big kid I want to get at the rim, I want to get a big kid at the rim. I want to set up however it is that my team can play. So I'm going to show you some of those real simple concepts at the back end of the session. But we will do a little bit of a warm up because it's always good to warm our kids up and get them going, plus get them in the mindset of how we want to build our team offense. And I always think about it, what does your individual skill say about how you want them to play at the other end within the half court? So we'll get the 13 boys, jump on up. We're just going to do our spin outs. We're going to go spin out jump shots. So we're going to start inside the lane. We're going to spin the ball out. We're going to jump, stop. We're going to pivot and we're going to finish our shot. So everything's a spin out. We're going to make 20. We're going to be nice and noisy on it. Let's go. Way we go. Spin outs. Let's go. Make those 20 shots. So again, I'm a big proponent of two foot stops in my offense. So my, from the very beginning of my training session, I start with two foot stops. All right. I don't want to waste too much time in my session with uh, high knees jogging around. Here, we're getting warm and we're getting shots up nice and early. I know that we've only got an hour's worth of training, so I've got to get bang for my buck. All right, what am I going to get the most out of? This warms me up, this gets me some extra shots, and it starts us thinking about our offense. Good work. Dead pivot, finish, good. Game winner, 20. Now, we could then extend this a little further if we wanted to. So now we'll bring them out towards the three-point line and we'll say, spin it out, outside the three-point line, drive, jump, stop, finish, it, finish the basket. Away we go. So catch, pivot, drive, one dribble, jump, stop. Got to be a jump, stop, and shoot away. Let's go. Anywhere you like. I like this stuff because it's not like just standing there shooting the same shot. But we don't really ever stand there and shoot 20 shots in the same spot. Here we can spin them out. Let's make, what do we got? Let's make 10. Good, one dribble, jump, stop. One dribble, jump, stop. That's done a jump, stop. Jump, stop. Bang, jump, stop. That's a step in. Now I could be really, because I'm going to be a nice one tonight, but I wouldn't count any bucket that isn't a jump, stop. That's how stiff I am on this sort of stuff. Any bucket that's not a jump, stop doesn't count. All right, got to be a jump, stop. 10, what do we got, 10? Where are we at? We got 10? That's not a jump stop, Jake. All righty, roll it out. All right, away we go. Great work, jump on the baseline, fantastic. 
That gets us warmed up and we're ready to go now. My next drill is going to be our, our three on. We're going to go three met players out. So let's get three girls for me. Let's get one basketball. So first three, one ball. Let's go. We'll get one player at the point. One player on the wing. That's all right. One player on the wing. One player on the other wing for me. So all we're going to do here is we're going to drive the ball. We've got to get into the key. All right, so we have to be into the key. So when I drive, we're going to drop lower. All right, so we're going to stay outside, but we're going to drop lower. I'm going to jump, stop, and I've got to make a pass out. Yeah, so let's just do that to begin with. Dribble in, jump, stop, pass out. Good. Now you're going to exit out, and you're going to drive in. Jump, stop, get in the key. Oh, is that in the key? Jump, stop, make a pass out. Get out, exit out. Drive in, jump, stop. Now you can make a cut, score. Go and score. Yep, score. Out, it's a layup, get a layup for me. But I'll take that too if you want it, all right? So we really here, we're just almost weaving the floor here a little bit, jump stopping, kicking out, and on the move. So let's see if we can get that with a little bit of pace. Let's go, where you go, drive, jump stop, pass out, go, drive, jump stop, good, drive, good, score, layup, good. Great work. New three, come someone else start at the top. Try to hold your spot until you catch the ball. Go, ball at the top, space out again, go, drive, fast, let's go. Drive in, jump stop, good, kick, go, drive. Ah, I've got to do I've got to get that jump stop. Good, jump stop, good, finish. Go again, go again, three out, let's go again, two person out. Again, jump stop, finish in the lane. Good. Got to be in the key. Good. And score, good work. So now, we'll bring it up, start again. So now, because we want them to hold their feet a little bit more, so we're not getting them to hold their feet, Find this is a great one when we're doing with juniors, under nines, doing jump stops up the court. They got this. I try to get them to do something with the ball. Gets them to pause a little longer. Maybe it's a shot fake. Maybe it's just a circle. Yeah? Maybe it's just here. Maybe it's just a sweep down low. Just something that gets them to hold their feet and hold their position a little longer. So now we're going to jump stop, fan the ball, and then we're going to pass. All right, on every jump stop. Go. Away we go. Jump stop, fan. Good. Drive. Jump, stop, fan, good. Drive, jump, stop. Oh yeah, score, score, your last one, yep. Go again for me, one more, let's go, away we go. Driving in, jump, stop, fan, good. Fan, good, finish. Great work. Thank you girls, good stuff. Grab a seat for me, well done, awesome work. All right, so you can see we've warmed ourselves up. But again, it's the building blocks of my offense, all right? Building blocks of my offense is I want the ball to move, I want to attack the paint, I want to play off two feet, all right? So I want to get in there nice and early. I'll take questions during this too, by the way, so if you've got them, throw them up. Uh, is there any question? Yeah. What's the emphasis on jump stop? Yeah. Why is it, why the em yeah. Jump stop? What's the emphasis on jump, st jump stop is the question. For me, I just find it's a good place for us to start as a junior basketball player. Stride stops are fantastic, and we do use them at, at the state and national level. I think the stride stops more used at an international level because the game's played faster. All right, so we're on the move a lot more here, and we're having to pull up a little bit quicker on it. We're trying to get into our footwork. I find the jump stop for me allows me to get into my pivot, allows me to play with a little bit more balance. All right, and the thing I see here at this, at this level is a lack of balance through our play. A lot of shots here. All right, a lot of nobody's able to pivot. We've forgotten where we are. We stride, and then we do this when we get a defender on us. Yeah, so that's why my preference is jump stop. I probably should have said at the start, I always think, and I've always been told by my mentors, coach the league you're in. Yeah, coach the league you're in. All right, I want to, hey, I want to, I'm happy. I've been up, been coached in some great leagues, some great coaches, but I've got to remember where I am, and I've got to make sure that I'm building it from here first, and then adding the skills on top. All righty, so we, let's get ourselves into some situations, so some two-on-one situations. So let's go, let's, we'll split this group up here. Can I get a line in the corner out of bounds here with basketball? Can I have some of us here level with the elbow for me? And uh, girls, line out of bounds over here. You guys are going to have to split it up, otherwise you're all going to be girls and boys. No basketballs required, we're going to come straight out of this. Straight out of the corner spot. Split them up, boys. Good work. Yeah, send two girls. Somebody there, somebody there. Go. All right. So straight away, I like to get into some two-on-ones. Now, 
If I talk about two-on-one, so a lot of coaches, they think of that two-on-one, down the floor, fast break, two-on-one layup. But I like to think of where's our two-on-ones in the half court. How often do we drive, draw a player, require to make a pass, yeah? How can I create those situations? Again, also having some variations to the offensive stuff I want to run later on. So here, we're going to play some two-on-one. The way it's going to work, Harry's going to dribble the ball. You're the defender. You're going to dribble the ball. Once you get in the key, you've got to make a pass. Make a pass, great. Stay there. Nick, you're sprinting to the elbow. Try to, ah, but that line up with the elbow. Come on now. I'm going to sprint into the elbow, and you've got to make a pass here. And then we've got to play off that. So now you've got to come in here. So I'm catching at the elbow. I'm facing up. Hey, if he doesn't come towards me, I'm going to take that shot. We're going to make a cut here. We're going to play out of that. All right, so let's go. And we'll just rotate through that. So again, we'll just rotate our play. So away we go. Let's go. Sprint across the floor. Let's go hit him. Boom, play out of it. Go. Let's go. Play out of that. Good. Good work. Oh, all right. So rotate out. New group in. Let's go. So same thing, sprinting across the floor, go Ollie. Go ahead and make that pass, hit the elbow. Good, play out of it, good. Keep on rolling them through, so you can see, that's a situation we see all the time in the game, an elbow catch. Does the person cut though? Sometimes they don't, it's a real killer, isn't it, as a coach, when you go, man, make that cut. Well now we're gonna say, well here's that two on one, let's, let's put that into play here, let's play here out of this. Way we go, sprinting across, go. Go, 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 Harry, to the elbow. Elbow, direct, hit it. Go, play out of it. Good. Great work. See, we could do this with under nines. No reason why we can't. I might not get them to run across the floor. Under nines, it might be me, yeah? I might have defender on the block, offensive player, offensive player. I pass here, here, elbow, play. Yeah, so I might shorten the shorten the court a little bit for them, all right? But otherwise, this is, I think this is a great way. We can do lots of stuff out of this. Great work. Keep that ball on the move. We're working on our finishing here. We're working on our team offense. I probably do more of this than set plays. With my group, with my boys, I do more of this than set plays because I just feel like, again, I've only got an hour's worth of training. Do I want to spend 15 minutes trying to describe and get them to go through an offense or to just want to teach them to play some basketball, cut and move. Great work. Good. All righty. Go again. Go again. One more for me. And obviously we would do this on the other side of the floor. Go. One more for me, girls. Good work. Shoot that. Ah, we've got to be more confident to shoot it. All righty. So for the boys here. So now... We talk about layers, those that have got older ones here. Have we got any older coaches? Have we got 17s, 15s, only a couple, a few, a few? All right, good. So if we want to add a layer to this, Nick's going to come in, come in, and we're going to go, we're going to go dribble handoff with Nick. All right, so away we go, dribble handoff to Nick. Let's go. Away we go, hit him. Go, go, dribble handoff to Nick here. Play out of that. Good work. Great work. Now we're working on our dribble handoff here. Look, I don't do a lot. Keep flow through the dribble handoff action. Let's go. Add it. Good. Oh, make sure the pass is back. I don't do a lot of pick and roll all right, at this level. I know my assistant coach was floating around before who coaches with me at a men's level. I'm notorious for pick and roll at a men's level. All right, I either pick and roll early or I pick and roll late. I don't do it with juniors as much. Reason being, again, it goes back to that bang for my buck. If I'm coaching rep, I'll probably do pick and roll because I've got two training sessions and I can spend 30 minutes coaching it well rather than coaching it poorly. I think the dribble handoff is a little bit easier to run. It doesn't bring as many defenders to the ball. And I find with a pick and roll, our players tend to catch it, wait, screener comes, wait. And we kind of get all these defenders and all these offensive players in one space. We don't always get the desired result we see on TV that we want from here. All right, so I find the dribble handoff. We've got both players are moving and we can run through it from there. Good, dribble handoff. 
Good. Great work. All righty. We'll hold it from there. So now we'll do some other two on one. So let's bring it up here. So let's go. Ben, bring your line here to the wing for me. We'll keep that line in the corner. We'll bring this line from the far side. We'll bring you up to the top of the key. I'm doing all this stuff this side of the floor. As I said, obviously I would do this sort of both sides when I'm training. Can we fill out these lines just a little bit more? So top of the key, point spot. Great work, fill out. No, we don't need one in the corner. So we're just here, point, wing, corner. Great work. We're gonna have this line as my defending line. Okay, so I'm gonna be reversing the ball down the line. Okay, once the ball gets to Ollie, you can't move till he catches it. All right, you're the defender. So now we're playing two on one again out of the corner. All right, so let's go. Away we go, reverse the ball. Bang, bang, attack. Let's go, it's two on one. Oh, you don't like that shot? All right, so then we'll rotate down. So away we go, ball at the top. Reverse it fast, let's go. Good. Good work. All right, keep rolling through that. So again, part of our offense. Ball reversal is part of our offense. Here we're getting some ball. Yeah, keep flying through. Keep flying through the drill for me, kiddo. Great work. All right. Our offense, we want to reverse the ball. Here's a reverse the ball drill. Gets us into an offensive, defensive situation. We do this with under 11s. I've done this with under 9s. They love, under 11s, under 9s love this stuff. I ask you, can you play more games at training than just the one you do at the end? Yeah? I would say that probably 60% of my training is two on one, two on two, three on three. My kids don't ask me to play a game at the end because they've already been playing one for about 40 minutes. So I try to give them as much of this sort of stuff as I can. And then I would coach through this. Is that a good shot for us? Great. So let's make sure here now, we're going to make a hard drive regardless. I want to make sure I'm coming through the elbow. All right, I don't want to come any wide. I'm going to come through the elbow with high hands only. All right, let's get um, Jake to swap over. Let's put the hammer in there. Let's go high hands. All right, so let's go rotate, rotate, high, elbow, high hands. Ah, come back. Where are your hands? Go again. So we're here, and where are your pass? Gab at his hands, all right? Nice and tall, okay? So you're there, stopping, jump, stop, in the lane, high hands. Go, shift, shift, cut, hands. Good, that's it. Good work. There's my teaching point, yeah? Jump, stop, here to finish. Great work, making me look good. All right, great stuff, okay? But that's all there. I wanted to jump, stop, in the lane, and now I start to teach through this. So tonight I'm standing here talking to you. Fire away. But I would coach through this the whole way. Great work. So where's our pass? Our pass is high. We want to get a little lower on that one. Let's go. Rotate through. Yep. Good. So let's play now. We're going to play with a pass back. All right. So it's got to go one, two, three. Three, she still can't move until she gets it back twice. All right, and then we're gonna go play. Go, shift it quick, let's go. Bang, back, go, attack, let's go. Oh, I've got to still drive. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, still drive, okay? Put pressure down through the elbow. Let's go, pass, whip it, back. Ah, gotta go, stay on the wing, gotta stay on the wing. Go back again, run it again. So we're just gonna go pass here, pass, pass back, and then I'm gonna go, okay? Away we go. Good. So again, now I'm getting out of that corner spot, really working the ball here. Great work. Let's be more demanding. I want to see some jump stops. Let's go. Drive, got to be some jump stops. Let's go. Get a drive and back to a drive. Jump stop. Good. Pass over. Good. Jump stop. Good. Finish. Great work. Let's go. Let's play through that a little bit more. Give me some more jump stops on the end of things. Let's go. Pass, back, drive. Oh. Let's remember if he's there, bang, he's down low. All right. Let's go. With my new group. Let's go. Live up and come. Let's go. Let's go. Ben, let's go. Play through some jump stops here again. Let's go drive, jump stop. Good. Oh, Ben, he's high. We've got to go. Yeah, we've got to read that defender. We're teaching our kids now to play against defenders. 
we can teach our skills through. Good work, Ollie. Good pivots. Great stuff. All righty. We'll hold it there. Let's get two lines now. Oh, sorry, let's get one line under the basket. Let's get two players. Elbow, one player on the elbow, one player on the other elbow. 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 Great. Again, some more two on one. I'm going to go and put a three on two drill in in a second. I like this for the real littlies. We can bring this one down to the block if we need to. All right. But all I'm going to do is I'm the defender. Ball's got to be touched both sides. So I'm going to park here. It's got to go there. Now you can attack. All right. And we're close to the basket. You can go back again real quick. All right. So we're in the lane. Real quick stuff. Really sharp. I've used this as a warm-up drill before. Get my kids started. So let's go. Pass. Defense. Go. 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 Work through. Good. Good. Finish. Great work. Let's go. So rotate out. So hand. Harry, jump over on this side. Great work. So again, whip that ball. Let's go. Let's go. Touch both sides. Let's go. Quick, quick. Hit it. Let's go. On the attack. Good. Good. Ah, it's all right. Good work. So we've got to go low. We might add in. We've only got one dribble. One dribble only. Max, go. Good. Landing on two. Good work. There we go. It's again, really easy, really simple. Two on one. How many times do we see this in an under nines game? Do, 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 do. Can I find the most open player? All right, even with my little ones, can I teach them the concept of can I create a better opportunity for someone else when I've got people on me? Can I look for someone else? Good. Good. Great work. All righty. We'll hold it there. All right, we're going to set ourselves up into some 3v2. So let's go. Um, let's have a player out on the wing. Point, wing, block, block. People have done this one with me before will know. 3v2. Great work. All right. Yep, Ollie, you can stay there. Okay. Here's a real, uh, I don't know, meat and potatoes drill for me. How do you want to describe it? The broccoli of my dinner. I love my broccoli, so I always got it on my plate. I think I've done this drill with just about every kid that's here. Uh, probably just about every kid in Ivanhoe. All right, so ball goes past out. Defenders have got to touch both sides. So we've got to go one, two. They've got to come back. While that's happening, we're going to whip the ball. Let's go bang, bang. Once we catch it here, we can drive. We can play. All right, now we're three on two. All right, so we'll do that first and then we'll coach it in a second, all right? So let's go, Ollie, start with the ball. Let's go with it. So go, pass the ball out, touch both sides. Let's go with the ball. Go, attack downhill, let's go. Good. Oh. All right, turn over the ball. So we're going to rotate out. Yeah, so we'll just rotate around. So the defender on the last defender goes. New defender in, let's go. Hit both sides, go defenders, go, go. Work the ball, drive. Good, ah, where's our pivots? All right, great. Let's go again. Let's go one more. Go. Wick the ball. Work the ball. Drive hard. Drive. Good. Great work. All right. Rotate. Hold the ball there. Okay. So let's now add in some rules. We've let them go a little crazy. Probably let them go crazy a bit longer than that. Let's have some rules here. So the ball gets turned. So let's whip the ball around. Don't worry about defenders for now. Ball here. Have to drive. Yep, have to drive, have to go at the block. That's where you want to attack. At the block, deep block, get these defenders as low as possible. Have to get to the foul line. Don't want you to go any further. Just want you to go to the foul line. Great receiver spot. If I catch this, I can still take my steps and lay it in. Okay? Got to go to the corner of the backboard. All right, corner of the backboard. Great spot. Love talking about it as the corner of the backboard, not the ring. Can't rebound from under the ring. All right, corner of the backboard, great location point. If Ollie drives and shoots and misses, I'm here. Tip dunk, ready to go straight away. All right, if not, great spot for me here that if I don't have that, I can dump underneath. All right, so we're going to go foul line, corner of the backboard. Just still going to defend in a second. Drive hard. Let's go start the ball with Ben. So that's our rules now. Let's go. Go. With the ball. Good, good. Drive, corner of the backboard. Whip back. Oh, it was there though. Yeah, that's okay. So then we've got the jump. Rotate round, knowing our rules, rotate round. 
So now we've got to make great passes. Let's go. Shift. Good. Know our spots. Foul line drive. Good. Good. Oh, unlucky. Really good. Probably could have shot it. Way we go. So now we're starting to see our spacing in action now. Yeah? Our spacing is, is our offense at the end of the day. All right? If I can space well, I'm always going to be great. Yeah, fire away. You guys roll, keep rolling through. Remember our spots. Drive hard. Out foul line. Good. Absolutely. Take it to the house. Great work. Let's not discourage that sort of stuff. It's three on two. She's got the confidence to go to the rim. I want her to go. I want her to go. I want her to get to the foul line. Let's go. No our spots. Foul line, drives, corners. Good. Great work. Remember, we're driving hard. Corner, L, foul line. Let's go. Kick it out. Go. On the move. On the move. Drive, spots. Good. Great work. Got to make those. So I want to encourage my players to move in places where they can be receivers on offense. Can I be receivers? We use the phrase, the ball has eyes. All right, it's a great phrase. I've always loved it. The ball has eyes. Can the ball see me? Yeah, can the ball see me? Really, really important. No point running behind or running in places where I can't be seen or running away or running right at it. Can the ball see me? Can I be of asset to it? Shift it, go, go, go. Good, great work. We've got to be on that corner of the backboard. We've got to get this corner of the backboard really cutting. All right, let's go. Let's go, be on the corner of the backboard for me. Let's go, corner of the backboard. Good, good, good. Here we go, good. This player has a tendency here, we can already see, to want to float out when the ball comes in. We want them to go in. We want them to be here. All right, don't worry about the five second call. I think I said last week, let the rest make that decision. Just get to the get to the get to the lane. Go. Go, go, go. Shift that ball. Here we go. Good work. Great. Oh Harry, I don't know about that one, but went in. That'll do. Good work. Good, good jump stop. Great pivot. Great movement. Great work. Really good movement. One more. All righty, we'll, we'll, we'll do this as a four. So we'll go four v three, see how, what it looks like. No, most teams have got seven players. So let's go, we'll have another. So we'll go two slots. So let's roll around here. So in the guard slot for me, in the two out line with the elbow, come over here, guard slot line with the elbow, deep corner for me. Great work, push out. Defense still, defense still. Get your start on the elbow. So now we've got three defenders. All right, we want to have the, the third defender to start on the elbow where the ball's going to finish. That way we can try to create some mismatches where we are here. All right, so same rules apply. Let's whip the ball. We'll stop once we get to the other side. Go. So ball out, ball. Yep, touch ball. You got to touch elbow to elbow. Hold there. Great work. All right. So we want now, my rules are slightly different here with my positioning. I still want you to drive. So you're gonna drive into the middle, but I want you to come behind. I want you to go to the foul line. I want you to go, Jake, to go to the, the corner. All right, so now we can see our positioning here. We're still in our 3v2 position because we hope that she beats the front one. But if she doesn't, she can pivot, pass the ball back out. All right, and then we can back out here because we haven't gone too deep. How often does this player get right in here? We get the ball out and then we just go back in again. Classic offense, isn't it? Just stay on one side. Now this player, because they're at the foul line, they can come out, all right? And now I can reverse the ball back out on the other side of the floor, all right? So let's go into that now, 4v3. So again, my slots are elbow, it's what we call our guard slots, all right? Elbow left on line with our elbows up the floor. Go, 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 touch both sides, work the ball. Work the ball, attack, good. Reverse it, oh, there's the drive. Yeah, great work. Okay, great drive, saw the line. Great drive, rotate out. So now we'll have our defender. So Aiden now, so we're, so you're gonna get to come in here. Aiden's gonna go down. Yep, good work, so we should swap him out that way. Yep, perfect. 
in here. Oh, sorry, Liv, jump out there for me one more. We'll get the rotation in a second. All righty. Away we go. Work the ball. Ah, ah, ah. Ball's got to go corner. Go. Hit it, go. Work it. Drive it. Get behind, Ben. Get behind, Ben. Ah, get behind. Good. Jake, foul line. Coach, push out now. Good. All righty. Yeah, keep the ball on the move. We want to find an open player. We are 4v3. Work the ball. Work the ball by hand. Reverse the ball. Jake, call for the ball. Good. Reverse the ball. Good. That's better. Good work. All right. Let's go again for us. Well, concept probably this group's worked a lot on. All right. Yeah. Call for the ball. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. International sign for I'm open. Give me the ball. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Got to call for the ball when you're open. Oh, oh let's go back again. Yeah, so I'm going to get, now we can change this to create even more advantage. So now I can get Liv to start over here. So now you've still got to go. Bigger gap here. Drive behind Jake. Good. Reverse the ball out. Oh, where was that one? Let's go. We want to get, let's see if we can get this ball worked out around the, around the back side. Probably a concept. Probably more for our, for our 15s, 17s that have played a little bit more. Probably seeing more situations like this. I'm pretty happy in 13s and 11s if I can get the ball to shift around. Away we go. Shift it, shift it. Go. Drive behind Nick. Good. Reverse it. We're probably yellows and blues here. I think we're probably a little confused. Great drive down the middle. Great work. All righty. Good stuff. All right, I'll get you to sit on the baseline for me. Great work. Let's give them a round of applause too because not all of them do all the drills all the time. And that gives them a chance to get a drink. So that's that advantage play part of, of coaching. Again, like I said, I would say I would do more of that after I get out of my defensive stuff. I'm doing more of that sort of stuff because I can still talk about my defense too in there. Any questions off the back of that bit? We've got awesome. All right. Get them at the end, fire them at me at the end. All right. All right, let's go into some concepts at work. All right, I say concepts at work lightly. They work for me. Maybe they work for you. Um, I find they work pretty well for me. I like to think on offense, this is probably stuff now, probably better under 11s, 13s, 15s. This is probably where we're looking. I think you can still work this as much as you can with young ones, but I think probably top end 11s and we're up from there. All right. The hardest thing to defend as a defensive coach is multiple actions in the same series, okay? So why I describe that as, and you'll see a lot of this in the NBA, will be a you know, pin down screen to dribble handoff. All right, so it's where one defender is having to guard two things at once. All right, very, very difficult actions. I like to try to get some of those, maybe it's a cutter with a screen, but just a simple pass screen away, it's one action. If I defend that one action, I'm good. I right, switch it and defend that one action really well, I'm great. Now, again, at this level, one action might get you what you want. We're trying to see if we can produce some players here and really test them a little bit. I think we can get some more out of them. So let's have a look. Girls, I'm gonna get our girls up. So let's go, um, can I get girls out into a five out for me, girls? All right, five out set up for me. Classically coach this lot. Their coach is here, so I'll give him a little bit of prop for them. They are coached pretty well, so they kind of know where they need to be. Five out. We will need a basketball, though. We will need a basketball to play some basketball. Here we go. Great work. Excellent stuff. All right, so we're going to, again, we're going to go two actions. All right, I'm going to show a little continuity that you might be able to use. So take this sort of stuff for what it is for you uh, and, and what you think you can use here. But a really simple continuity for me all right, is an exit cut all right, or a back cut into a dribble handoff here. So I'm going to dribble towards here. All right, we're going to exit out. So it's going to cut through. So I can look at that if I want. All right, keep dribbling over. All right, look at that if I want. And then I'm going to dribble handoff out of the corner. Coming out, bang out of the corner on a dribble handoff. We're going to rotate around. All right, again, I've got a cutter going. Defender has to defend this cut. All right, this player here might shrink off a little bit because they're like cutter to the rim. And now I'm coming at them with a multiple action. All right, so two actions in one. Exit out, cut, into a dribble handoff. And now I can now reverse the ball. 
Just reverse it. And I can go again here. So dribble out, cut, bang, go and get her out the other side. So I can just go ahead and run this thing all afternoon. Reverse it, dribble out, cut, go and get a hand off in the corner. Get a dribble out, get a hand off, get a hand off in the corner and get her out of her again. So there's your classic continuity. I think it's got a little bit more to it than the old five out. I used to play for an old coach called Dave Fulton. Five, eight, five out Fulton was his nickname because that's all we ever did was pass, cut, pass, cut. <clears throat> all right, but we can play that out. All right, so we re reverse the ball. So when we come out of this dribble handoff, we're just going to make a pass rather than trying to dribble out. So say we wrap, yeah? So let's go dribble out, cut, go. Ah, got to go to the ring. Same action, exit out, great work. All right, so then I might play this two on three. All right, so how I would play this, all right, is I would put a, um, a defender on the ball. So let's have a defender on the ball. And I'll have a defender on the cutter. Okay, so you've got to go and touch the sideline. Okay, before you can come back in again. All right, so we're going to make this cut here. You're going to make a dribble over. You're going to have to defend two spots. You're going to make a dribble hand up. No, you've got to guard her. You've got to go and guard her. Can't be off her. Back to my old defensive rules from the other week. Got to be up. Got to be up. Get up on her. All right, go. Dribble out. Go. Cut. Good. Take that hand off. Good. Drive it out of it. Play out of it. Two on one. Go. Two on one. Go. Good work. All right, so let's go again. Reset again. So now if I'm guarding this cutter, I'm probably going to bump her, make life a little bit difficult for her, get to be a bit more physical with her. So dribble at her, push her through, go. Push, go, go, at it fast, let's go, go, attack. Good, down there. What are we in? We're in our two-on-one we just did, yeah? Now, we're going to have three players there now, and we can add that where we want. So let's go, um, let's get Jake come up as the third defender for me. All right. Uh, Gad's in the corner. All righty. So same again. Let's play it three on three. Go. Exit out. Dribble handoff. Good. Good. Reverse cut. Great work. See if we can get it again. See if we can get it again. Good. Yeah. Fine. That's okay. Rotate out. So there's that, again, that multiple action, right? We've got that cutter. We've done all our work, our pre-work on the two on ones that now passing and cutting to the basket is a natural occurrence for them. All right, I'm not saying to them, hey, pass, cut, pass, cut, because they know that when we're in that situation, I've got to play basketball. All right, and basketball from my coach says I've got to go. All right, let's go, let's get the boys up on it, because we've got six, let's, we've got six, yeah, we've got six, let's go. Let's get boys up on it, run six straight. So same thing, we're going to exit out, back cut, touch the sideline, come back in, we're going to run this side of the floor, let's get O in the corner. One in the corner, one on the wing. Harry, who, where are you, mate? Yeah, you don't know. Oh, no, I can see. Jump in here, guard this, guard. Guard Ben, guard Ben. On him, like up on him, deny him. This is not, we're not playing for your rep team, we're playing for me. Let's go, guard him. All right, let's go. We're gonna exit out, we're gonna dribble hand off, we're gonna rip off this hand off. Go, 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 exit out, go, right at him. Good work, go, good. Touch sideline, come back. Exit out, go, there he is, good. Great work, unlucky. Good work, Ben, thinking the right thing. Probably got to swim our arms. Swap it over, offense to defense. Dribble at him, go. Go, go back. Remember, you're cutting to the basket. What do you want to do? You want to face cut him. Yeah, so you want to get, here's the shoulder, blow his shoulder, correct. Blow his shoulder open and get straight through him. Let's go, go. Blow his shoulder, good. There he is, good. That's it, good reversal. <laughs> Great work. Great work, stop. So, did we see the action that we did earlier for our warm up? We drove in, bang. Next guy caught it, what did he do? Drove back into the hole again, bang, looking to create. Obviously, I've coached these guys not that long, a couple of them for a season or so, but again, there's that building block again. Yeah, there's that building block. I've already done some offense already. Let's go again. Where we go? Go. We've got blow past the shoulder. Good. That's it. Hand off. Good. Ah, work out. Good. Got players on the move all the time. Keep moving. Keep the ball moving. Make the ball sing. Great work. Great work, guys. All right, girls. 
Can I get you back on the floor, boys? You can jump on off for me. All right, so that's our exit cut into our dribble handoff. All right. Let's get ourselves into a zoom action. So we're going to have just three players to begin with. So can I have somebody on the elbow for me? Someone here at the point spot who wants to have a point guard? Yeah, come on, point guard. You got it. That's it. I have one player in the corner. Perfect. All right. So again, this is our zoom action. You'll see this a lot in the NBA. This has come out of, mainly come out of Europe, but it's very, very popular in the NBA now. What am I doing on the other side of the floor? I'll talk about that in a minute. All right, but we're going to get here. What we're going to do is we're going to make a pass here at the elbow as best we can. It doesn't have to be bang on the elbow. We're going to make a great pass. I'm going to go and screen. So we're going to stay deep in the corner. I'm going to screen here. Screen. And we're going to dribble hand off here. Okay, and we're going to rip off that dribble handoff and get a score. All right, so let's go. Let's see if we can get that. So go, bang, cut, screen. As she comes off it, go dribble towards her. Dribble handoff, good. Go to the basket. We're going to have to use that left hand today. All right, so again, this dribble handoff here, we're probably not going to want to get too close to that screener. Probably going to take maybe one dribble here. All right, one strong dribble. If she's not there, then I can go back to the basket if I need to. All right, let's go again. Where we go? What? Yeah, you roll. Absolutely roll. Yeah. All right, let's go. Hit on the hand. Go, screen down, as you see it go, good. Bang, roll to the basket, good work. All right, so again, we've got our ball here. When I'm setting this one up as a guard, okay, don't you can stand in the corner for me. Liv, you can jump out here for me, that's all right. I'm setting this one up as a guard. A lot of times we feel like we have to pass from here. All right, and then we get this stolen a lot. I just need this ball high. So if I dribble this side of the floor here, their defender has to drop off. This defender has to stay here. If they don't, I'm going to go to the basket. All right? So I can make this pass from the side if I keep my wings in the corner. So I can, now I can come here, all right? Make my pass. Now I can go on screen. Off we go. Yeah, come off that handoff. Great work. All right? So then we'll put some defense on this. We play this two on three. So I'm going to have defender. I have a defender on the elbow and a defender in the corner. So where my screens and my actions are and our pass are out of there. So let's go. So you've got to get open, use your body, get open. You want to catch the ball. You've got to make a great pass. You're going to go set a great screen on a body down there. Go. Ah, go again. Make some position. Own your space. Let's go. Good. Good. Go on screen. Cohen's got to sprint the screen. Ah, left. Did you screen a player? Go back. Start again. Did you screen a player? Did you cut off really hard? Did you wait and look? No, 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 no. Good. All right. We're already, we're already doing really well. <laughs> All right. Go on. Hit it on the spot. Let's go. Good. Go on screen. Hit a player. Good. Rip off. Go. Jump out. Good. Let's go. Play out of that. Good. Playing through with three on two. <coughs> Good work. All right. So now, playing on my own rules, looking at these girls play right now, am I putting the talent where it's most talented? I don't know, because none of them can dribble with their left hand. So if I'm running a whole bunch of handoffs on this side of the floor, I ain't helping them. So let's go this side of the floor. Same thing. Two on three. Yep. Away we go. Same action. Good. Go and screen a body. On rip off it. Let's go. Go. Rip to the basket. Good. Here we go. I put my talent where it can be talented. Now it can pass with its right hand. Hey, I'd love him to be able to run it on both sides of the floor, right? But if I've got a big seven foot dude who's only got a right hand, well, then I'm only going to give it to him where he can score. All right, I'm not going to mess around too much. I'm going to teach him. I'm going to teach him to play on both sides, but I'm going to make sure on game day I try to put him in the best spot I can. We have to remember as coaches that, you know, our goal is development with an interest in winning. Yeah, our goal is development at this level with an interest in winning. And we have to have an interest in winning because the games are scored and they counted for something. But we also have to be very mindful that it's an interest. So I don't want to drop my standards for the interest of winning. You never drop your standards for the interest of something. You drop 
you go, you go there, you go everything to say, here's my standards of play, this is what I'm going to do. I'm playing man to man. I'm not going to zone trap, let's say. I'm not going to zone trap. I didn't do that last year. I said, I'm not going to zone trap up the floor this year because I want to teach my boys to play man to man, full court, up and down the floor. Could have been real easy to just go 2 2 1, press guys, zone trap off, pretty simple. Didn't do it. We're going to do a little bit of a mix of it now because I know I've spent, with six of those players, I've spent a year with them. So I'm in the, I'm in the interest of winning but my main goal here is to develop basketball players. Let's go again, girls. Where we go, we swapped it over. Swap over. The two defend, the two offense, no. Liv stays the point. Just swap them over from there. Great work, where we go. Good. Dribble at it, good. There we go, rip to the basket. Good work. Great stuff. All right, let's get the boys up, because we've got three. So let's go, three on three. Point, elbow. Wing, how are you on the elbow? Let's go. Corner. Great work, girls. So we're going to play it. We're going to play it three on three. So let's get defender on the corner. Hey, guys, boys, boys, boys. Jake, can I get to defend Ben? Nick, guard Ollie. Harry's gone offense. Aiden's on D. All right, so we'll go the other way. Yeah, go, uh, no, we'll keep, we'll keep Aiden on offense. Yeah, go on. Aiden can have offense. All right, go. Let's go. Make that feed. Good. Go again. Yep. What else can I do out of this? So they're switching, so hold. So they're switching. So if we know that they're switching a lot on this, I'm now gonna send you on a hard curl. So you're gonna go straight through. So we're gonna look for him on the hard curl if he gets it. All right, start back past the green so you can feed it in. Where you go. So we're gonna hard curl now. Oh, hold that dribble, go. Make that cut, hard, ah, go back. Didn't wait for the screen, start again. Go, go, go. Good. Hard curl. Good. Great work. All right. So a team that, that switches there, if we hard curl that, now we're going between the switch. Now they're either gonna have, they're gonna have to choose whether they stay. Now, I'd like to think that if I do this enough, I get to the point where my players can read that. They hear the word switch. They automatically hard curl. All right, now if he does hard curl, the player who just set the screen comes back for the dribble handoff. All right, so we're still staying in our action. What does it look like with five? Let's have a look at it with five. So let's go, uh, let's go Nick jump over into the slot here for me. Jake jump over into the corner for me. All right, uh, Aiden just jump off the floor for me. What does this look like with five players? How would we space this out? Here we are here. All right, we can space this with four. We can run it here, so let's go. We're gonna switch in here once the ball touches the elbow. So go, run this action here, let's go. Switch, switch over this, side. run that action. Great work, <coughs> run that action on this side of the floor. Okay, we could do that there. We can run this differently. Say I haven't got the depth and breadth here, I can go, all right, Aiden, into the elbow for me. Nick, jump off the floor. Stay in the corners, Ollie with the ball. So now we can pick whichever side he likes. So come down here, so we're still running that zoom action. He picks either side he likes. So away we go, pick a side. Bang, good. We drop Harry. Now we've got a guy at the basket. We can bring this guy and pull him up if we wanted to. That's how we can look at it. I would teach part, hold. That's how I want to teach this sort of stuff on offense. Part method, early, little bit, show them what the action is that we want to get out of it and then I can put the whole together at training. All right, we're unlucky here that we don't have groups of 10. We don't always get to scrimmage through it. So we'll just do this one here. Let's go, away we go, hit through it. <coughs> Great work. Cut to the ring, cut the ring, Aiden. Good. Great work. <coughs> Great stuff. I think I've got one more and I might start to lose time. Let me see if I can get it. I'm gonna leave it. It's a cross screen and I'll, I can show it on another time. I don't want to lose anything in case there's any questions. We've got any questions? Otherwise, I'll squeeze it in. Great. I've either given you all the answers or I've scared the living hell out of you. One of the two. All right, one of the two. I'm not quite sure which one it is. All right, let's get a cross screen in. We're going to go a blast pick. So let's go. Let's go defend here. Let's go offense and defense here. And I'll catch the ball on the wing. Ben, Garden, Hammer, 
Jake, Garden, Aiden, Nick, Ollie, grab a seat. All right, we're gonna go here. So we're gonna go our blast screen here. We use this one a lot, elbow to elbow. This is how we teach it. All right, we're gonna make a pass here. Cut, we're gonna cut through his shoulder. We're gonna come back to the ball. Back, good. Oh, Harry, that's so lazy. All right, so here, we're gonna set, the ball goes to the wing. We're gonna set a screen across the floor. Okay, this player's gonna make a hard cut regardless of the body. It's gonna bury their shoulder through the defender and get themselves to the block. We don't accept curves. We accept straight lines only. Then the screener, after they've set this great screen, is coming back to the ball. I like to sometimes set my bigs up a little higher. It's personal preference. I just think the way the game's played now, if I can set my bigs up a little bit higher, I give a little bit more room under the ball for them to cut into. I don't think our kids are great low post players anymore. I don't think it's going away from the game as much as some people think. You watch enough uh, NBL one, there's enough seven footers getting paid, putting their back to the basket, that there's still a paycheck to be had if you can play with your back to the ring. But I just think at a junior level, we're trying to develop a bit of both. And so again, developing with the interest in winning, I can kind of do a bit of both here with this. All right, so let's go again, boys. So again, we're just playing off the elbow. I get him to start with the ball just to set up the timing, hits me, go, blast him, good, his hands are high, his hands are high, he's catching on two. All right, let's go again, let's go roll into it, let's go, and I can do this with smaller players here too, that's the best bit about playing off the elbow. Go, go, go cut, go and cut, screen him, cut through him, bang through him, good, stretch, good, pivot, good, oh, good work, well done. How do I make it look? Let's get it, let's make, let's have a look at it. So let's get five on it. Let's go, let's get five out. So that's to stay there. Uh, Nick starting the point. Aiden on the elbow, hammer on the elbow, Ben on the wing, deep wing, Jake on a deep wing, ball at the point. We're just gonna run blast. Nah, nah, step off, step off here. All right, so we're gonna hit a wing and again, we want multiple actions. So we're gonna pass to a wing, dribble over, oh, let's dribble over, wait for him to go. Wait for him to go. Ball in. Dribble over to make that pass sharper. Good. Now I'm going to make one cut here. My UCLA cut. Again, this defender here now does what? Has to. Yeah. Now I'm screening him. And now Harry's got a guy he can wind up and smash into. And if he's a big guy here, he can now wind up, get his shoulder in, and seal his man nice and strong. Because I want to switch, because everybody switches. So again, it's two actions. A cutter and a screen. Let's go through it, where we go. Ollie, take it, where you go. Oh, Nick, you missed out, too slow. Go, Ollie's got it. Go, so dribble through, cut. He cuts, he gets out, Ben, rotate. Good, we make that cut. If we reverse the ball round, we can dump it on the far side. All right. Great work, guys, give them a round of applause to the boys and the girls, great stuff. Really, really good work. Uh, it's punching stuff out here. Great work, boys. Grab a seat for me. Um, that concludes offensive stuff, all right? Like I said, I think there's some actions there. No doubt, I'll probably now come down on a Saturday on court five and see everybody running my Zoom action, and I'll be bitterly disappointed because now I've got to guard it. But um, <clears throat> that's okay, too. That's a good thing. I love seeing that. It's really positive. Are there any questions on that stuff? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Look, we'll, obviously we'll make sure my email comes out as well. I think you've got the notes already, pre-notes. Please email me. Please email me. I love answering questions on this stuff and I've got no problem on it. Yeah, yeah. Or would you just sort of yeah, would I, would I, the question is would I teach, what, would I have a name call for it? Yes, yes, absolutely I would. Um, I tend to just call it what it is. Yeah, all right. Or I call it what I want. So we actually call that blast. And we call it blast because we want my guy cutting to blast through his shoulder. So it's almost a reminder to him, a visual reminder to him as a junior to blast through it. At the senior level, we use it on a lot of hand signals. You know, so we might, you know, a zoom action, you know, might be a point up and a two, depending if we're gonna hard cut or something like that. That's how we do that sort of stuff. Any others?
Before I finish up, I just want to leave you with one thing, and, I, and I'll come a little closer so everyone can hear. Regardless of where you're coaching, Daniel, Ivanhoe, it's always been a thing for me as a coach, and probably more so once I took on the role here at Ivanhoe, that we provide our players a great experience as a coach. Right? Whether you're a volunteer mum or dad, whether you're a person that's had a bit of league experience or whatever that is, that you provide a great experience. Our goal should be to have the kids come back. That's got to be our goals as coaches. Can I provide an environment at training, at games, that makes our kids want to come back? And I'll tell you this story, because I love a good story. And it's about me, a little bit. All right, so why not? Might as well talk about myself while I've got you here. I was a 5, 10, 11 year old. I was a big kid. I only grew about a couple more inches afterwards. I was a big boy in primary school, obviously fairly athletic, single parent household, so I didn't play a lot of Saturday sport but I could be convinced to play a little sport if someone could help me get there. Obviously, footy, we're talking, let's not give myself away, late 80. All right, let's go there, late 80. We go late 80, so footy's a pretty powerful sport during that period of time. I get invited down to the footy club, I won't name who they are, but they weren't far from where I live. And I got down there, I got given a great jumper, I got given a pair of footy boots, and I got told I was playing in the ruck. The whistle blew, I knocked the ball down, Everybody ran off on me and I got yelled at for two hours. I went home and mum said to me, she's British, my mum said, how was your football? I said, yeah, I don't know whether I'll go back to that. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about it. A mate kept pestering me to come and play basketball. And I will name the coach. His name was Rod Freem. And he's been involved at Eltham for a period of time. And I went down there and I'm sure my teammates licked their lips at a 5, 10, 11 year old strolling into their game. I was rubbish. I was absolutely rubbish. I think I probably may have broke the record for most amount of travels in a game. Played through, Rod said to me, did you have fun today? And I remember this, he said, did you have fun today? I said, yeah, man, I did, yeah, I did have a bit of fun. He goes, well, when you get out there next time, he says, you know, get your hands in the air, try and make great position under the basket, really use what you've got available to you to be a better basketball player. I said, all right, no worries, Rod. And I came back again the following week and I kept coming back. And even when I was 16 and 17, Rod would still stop me in the stadium and say, been having fun? I said, yeah, I have. He goes, have you enjoyed your game? I said, yeah, I have. All he ever wanted to know, even as I progressed through some fairly elite junior ranks, was was I enjoying myself and was I having a good time? Who knows what would have happened to me as an athlete? I kind of think like with the sliding doors of it, I'm kind of pretty blessed that I stuck with basketball with that moment. But that's just a real slide shot. When I look at things, I go, Imagine if my experience had been the Rod Freem experience when I went to footy. I probably wouldn't have played in the AFL, there's no doubt about it, no chance, no chance, all right? But who knows where I would have been and what would have happened. And so that's why I say to you, when you go out, and that's all I worry about with Ivanhoe, that's all you should worry about with Banyul or whether your club is, can you provide your players a great experience? And then I extend that further, is can I provide my coaches a great experience? Because I want them to come back too. Alrighty, thank you so, so much for your time. We really, really appreciate it.